Hey, I'm Abby and welcome back to the Life Work Balance YouTube channel. Today I had someone leave a comment on one of my videos about the three questions you should ask at the end of an interview. And their question was, if the interviewer doesn't ask for questions, do I ask my questions anyway? The short answer is yes. Before I jump into the long answer, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please remember to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you can receive life work balance advice delivered directly to you every Sunday. So let's say you're in an interview and the interviewer does not ask you if you have any questions for them. Now this is uncommon. However, it can happen could happen for a variety of reasons, and one of those reasons might be the interviewer doesn't know that they should be asking that question. Maybe they were given a list of interview questions and the question, do you have any questions for me, wasn't on that list of questions. Or maybe the interviewer feels like they're running out of time and they don't have time to answer your questions. Those are just two of the reasons why they might not ask you if you have any questions but it doesn't mean that you aren't entitled to asking your questions. I think no matter what, you should ask questions at the end of your interview. Now, if the interviewer just doesn't know that they should be asking you that question because it's not on their list of interview questions, it is perfectly acceptable to say, before we conclude our interview, I have a couple of questions for you. Would you mind if we spend a few minutes going over those questions? Perfectly acceptable. If you are running short on time, and the interviewer is trying to wrap things up and they're not asking you if you have any questions because there's no time left for you to ask questions. I think it's important to recognize that you're short on time and also let them know that you do have questions. So you could say something like, I realize that we are short on time and we only have a few minutes left of this interview. However, I do have several questions about this position and about the organization. If now is not a good time to ask those questions, could we maybe set up some time later so that I can ask those questions? It's likely the interviewer will say, let's go ahead and answer those questions now. They may not have the time, they may have back-to-back -back interviews or they may have an important meeting that's coming up. So it may be that they have to schedule a separate time with you. So if you're in the position where the interviewer is not asking you if you have any questions, you still need to ask questions that you have. And it's not just to fill up the interviewer's time. The reason why it's so important for you to ask questions at the end of your interview is because you are interviewing this organization to make sure that they're going to be a good fit for you. The purpose of asking questions at the end of the interview isn't purely just to impress the interviewer. It truly is for you to ask questions that are important to you to help you make a decision on if this position and this organization is the right fit for you. If they do not give you the opportunity to ask those questions and they do not respond to your request for additional time to ask those questions, then that could be a red flag. It is just as important for the interviewers to interview you for the position as it is for you to interview the interviewers to make sure that the position is a good fit for you and the organization is a good fit for you. So if you are in the position where the interviewers do not have enough time for the questions or they do not ask you if you have any questions, it is still essential that you bring up the fact that you do have a couple of questions for the interviewers. Now, I recommend that you have three types of questions prepared for your interviews. If you're not sure what those are, please check out my video exclusively on the three types of questions you should ask at the end of an interview. But I recommend that if you are short in time and you have to really prioritize what questions to ask, you absolutely must ask what the next steps are in the interview and ask them when you can expect to hear from them. That is really important for you to know when it comes to wrapping up this interview. It gives you an idea on what to expect for time frame and what the next steps might be. So if nothing else, ask those questions. Hopefully you will have time to ask a culture question, whether it's about the culture of the organization or specifically about the interviewer, as well as hopefully you have the courage to ask the hesitation questions. But if time does not allow for those additional questions, the number one question I would recommend asking at the end of your interview is the one about next steps and what to expect. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas about this specific topic or any other career or job search related topics, please put them in the comments box below. 
I have a playlist dedicated exclusively to questions you should ask at the end of an interview. I've linked to it in the description box below and I've included it on this end screen. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and remember to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you can receive life work balance advice delivered directly to you every Sunday. Thanks and I'll see you next week.